it's Lone Wolf Racer here, and welcome to the first video of 2019 for this channel. Uh, the only reason, uh, the only reason why I didn't do any videos for for the first or the second of the month is mainly just try, just taking in the new year and getting some things set up. I intend, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, either which should be today or tomorrow, I have. I'll have a new intro set up for the I'll have a new intro set up. If not, it'll be for the next if not, it'll be ready sooner it'll be ready sooner rather than later. Anyway, only things here are the tires. We've got 36 lap race ahead of us. I'm gonna I'm assuming the soft tires will probably be the best choice here. Actually, Let's go one more set of supers for Pascal, just in case. Parts are good. Still saving up that money. And let's get straight into this, then. Right then, here we are. Practice at the Yokohama at the Yokohama track. Same thread as usual. Pascal and Ericsson for the for practice. As we've always done. Tire selection. Looks like it'll be soft tires for the race. And do a two-stop. One stop, let's say I went soft to medium, so the one stop doesn't look possible. Someone might try it, or just do two sets of mediums, but I don't, when have I ever done, when have I ever been gone, taken the conservative strategy and make it, made it work in this series? Anyway, just a setup. Just a setup like so, and yeah, I think we're all set here to start, to start this thing. So, as usual, I'll be back near the end. I'll be back near the end of practice. See you guys. See you guys in like two seconds. Right here we go. Seven minutes, just over seven. We're back. We have seven and a half. Seven and a, like seven and a half minutes left in the session. Anyway, uh, setup is oh doing okay. We got an excellent. I'm gonna try and keep that excellent. Uh, okay. So yeah, I went the wrong way on down for us here. Got level three on the soft tires and race trim. Just we're finishing off the quality trim here, and then we should be good. Let's go. Here comes Warren line. He's in. I think that was too much acceleration. Let's see. Mm, yep, too far the other way now. So, the middle. Let's try that. Let's try that. Three more laps out on the quality trim. Same set of supers, just to keep the tires. Wernland gets out first. And let's keep going. But yeah, anyways, as you could tell, uh, as you can tell, I'm skipping the loading screens now. In this, just to save, just to cut down the time on the video, just so that way you don't have to listen to me babble on about random stuff for no reason. If I can do, if I need to do that, I'll do it during the practice session. Not during the practice or quality session, or during the race, or maybe during the race when there's not a lot of action going on, just to spare you guys, spare you guys a little bit of time, is everybody's got somewhere to be, everybody's got some somewhere they want to be. They always want to keep, they want to keep doing, they want to keep consistent. They don't want to have their time wasted if somebody just with nothing going on. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying that. Anyway, here we come. I'm gonna bring them both in. I'm gonna bring the both in. And I'm gonna put them on the mediums just for shits and giggles to see if I can get some medium tire knowledge. Oh yeah, Pasco. Okay, so his setup's good now. Nice. Why not? Let's send them out. Let's send them out on the mediums. Ninety-five percent. Damn, I nailed the setup. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Might as well see if I can get that medium tire knowledge. If I get it, great. If I don't, oh well, I tried. It would it would be nice to have better more tire knowledge. It would be nice to ha have it at least, just in case I decide to change up strategy. Cause you never know with the weather. I don't think it's supposed to rain though. So anyway, we're gonna get one more lap in, so we might get level one on these medium tires here. It's Pascal. Final minute of the session, so yeah, they'll get one more lap. They both both of them will get one more lap. They should get it here. Let's see how let's see what the pace is like on the let's see what the pace is like on these. Oh, they're both going 
Yep, there we go. Level one on the mediums, and I've seen the session P4 and P6. For them, I'll be. It's not. It's not. This isn't a truly comparative time because the AI don't push and don't push during practice. So that so that's just a theoretical time of what we could get on mediums. Usually it's on the fastest tire, but in this case, no, it's not. That light footed soft tires perk is going to come in handy for Erickson. Warline, I'll probably just in this case with Warline as much as Super Overtake helps out. I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with the performance bonus this race, just because it just because it pro just to make sure we get everything set up everything just make sure he's got the good pace for this two stop to work. Anyway, here we go. Okay, that's a time it's too dead to even use it for a for a banker lap. Pascal can probably get away with that. Why not? It, why not? I would, I would ha at least I would I would at least leave me with four sets of supers to possibly do a, a three stop on super soft tires if I needed it. You gotta keep those strategy my options in mind for ton time, time. Erickson can't do it because this hardware is a lot is worse than Pascal's. Pascal would have a better chance of doing st stuff like that if need if needed. Anyways, I guess that's something I should look for in a draw and whenever I just for the driver to replace Erickson. Needs to have good tire wear. Erickson often has to run harder tires or be more conservative on his tires compared to Pascal, and he can't push as much as Pascal can because of because of that because of things like because he has worse tire wear. But the chassis could be the, ch the chassis of the car can be improved to fix to help with that. But it also comes down to the, it mainly comes down to how good is the driver at it. Anyways. Everything's going good so far. Oh, to the line. Not bad. Erickson's got a... Yeah, that's... Okay, in this case, with Erickson being ahead of Whirlwind, it's down to the tires. You can see how dead Whirlwind tires are on the right. I just threw them on a set of... A random set of tires. Oh, wait, I didn't even need to wait to send them out. Right now, I could have just waited to the end of the session since they both have good solid setups. But it's good to get that banker lap in, just to see... Just in case they don't improve. Just in case, who knows? Maybe that. Maybe this is a really good lap for Erickson. I'm gonna wait out the clock here. Wait it out. Three minutes to go. Somebody's playing Starbound. Don't care. Um. All right. Let's send Erickson. Let's send you out now. It's a P20 at the moment. So that's pretty good for Erickson's standards. Ask for it a little bit longer. Let's go now, just to make sure we get a round. It's a 110 lap time, but just to make sure we have plenty of time to get around. Minute 30 left to go for Pascal. When he, leaving the pits, he'll make it with like 20 seconds left. That's good. Here comes Erickson. He's going to start his flying lap with just under a minute to go in the session. Here comes the line. Perfect, perfect on the tires. Not bad. And there we go. So if he's going to get any good lap in, it's now. Overheated good for Warline coming to the start of his lap. Green first sector for Erickson. Not bad. Where's where's Warline? Green first sector for him. Green second sector for Erickson. Here comes Erickson to the line. He goes he goes white in the last sector, does not improve. Here comes Warline to the line. Will he's going to improve? P twenty two. Erickson out qualifies out qualifies Warline. I'll be damned. That's the first time Erickson has out. I think that's like the first time Erickson has out qualified Whirlwind. So maybe I don't know. Did they put in Whirlwind at the beginning of this season when he was injured? I don't know if I. I can't remember. It's been so long. I can't remember now. It's been a while. So long. I can't remember if I did do that or not. But whatever the case. Whatever the case. That's in, that was that's interesting at least. Anyway, raised trim and light footed soft tires. No rain look seems predicted for the time being. Now, Whirlwind, what do I do with you? Starting near the back. Hmm. Raised trim, obviously. What's Whirlwind's tires look like? What could he do? 
th a three a three stop on the supers, a two stop on the subs, or a potential one stop on the mediums or me soft and medium. Hmm. I don't know. I don't actually know what strategy to go with here since he's twenty second. Usually he's in front of Ericsson. Uh, do I stick to the plan? Let's go bold. Let's go, let's go bold this time. Why not? I guess the question now is, I guess, I guess I'm going to go super soft tire knowledge for Whirlwind then. Ericsson, you're going to run the soft tires. Merlin's gonna run the supers and run the super soft knowledge. Super overtake would probably help, but we're gonna be pitting a lot more time, so I want to keep. So we're gonna have, have to make a lot of outlaps, which means fuel might be a little tight. So I'm gonna play it safe here. We're both gonna go attacking on the start. This is gonna be interesting. Alternate strategy going on. Alternate strategies for once with these with these two. Ericsson out, Ericsson's in front of Whirlwind on the start. Here we go. It's a decent start for both of them. They both gain places off the line. Ericsson up to P18, Whirlwind P21. Someone's gone off. It's Julian Palmer. Nobody cares about him anyway. Here we go. Here we go. P17 for Ericsson. Whirlwind's back to P21. P22, P23. Wow, what is going on with Whirlwind today? He's not a... Ericsson's on fire. Look at him. He's up to P. Ericsson is up in. Ericsson's up into P6, P17 right now. He Warline coming back. Here he is. He's coming up to P19 now. All right, let's conserve those tires a little bit, Warline. You too, Ericsson. Conserve those tires a little bit, guys. Keep it. Let's keep going. Honestly, well, with Warline, I don't know. No, he's in, okay. Warline's in front of Ericsson now. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna have Warline go through anyways, regardless where Ericsson was. Here comes it. Here comes Warline. Nope. Warline's behind. The Sierra has passed him, mate. There we go. Up to P18 for Warline. Challenge P17 of Giovinazzi. He's got it around the outside. Got him. Clear. Not bad. Screen freeze. And a, and random and phone again. God damn it. And here comes Ericsson up to P19. No one has made a stop yet. No, Felipe's made a stop. Wow. Lap five. It's very that's very, very early for an AI even the AI to be making a stop. We'll go one so we'll go one more lap here. We can go at least two more laps here, I think, with Warline. If we back him up a little bit on the tire. Here we go. Okay, so at the end of this lap, I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to conserve. At the end of this lap, he's gonna I'm gonna have him push in. So we'll make it to lap nine. That's where we need to go. We need to get as long as we get to lap nine every single time, or even extend one lap. We should be good. Here we go. Cars are in the pits. We're in line. It's time to shine. Second set of Super Sonos. And let's charge the battery up to 50%. That'll give them 75% to use on the way. That'll give them 70, around 80% to use. Warren tires for Pascal. That's fine. He's up to P13 with the people stopping. The stop and stroll on mediums. Even with that, even with that as good as tire wears they got, they can't make it 20, almost 30 laps on those. We're going to have to stop again. Ericsson using your ass on the straight, trying to gain some positions. Here comes, there's Whirlwind in and out. It's overtake mode. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna wait till, I'm gonna wait till we get to around the hairpin to use the RS. So that way we'll use the RS all the way down the main straight. Here he comes, ERS now, all the way down with high, with overtake mode on the fuel, all the way down, and he's gained back, he's gained back up to the cars that are directly in front of him, who are on medium tires. 
Where is Erickson? He's in P12 at the moment with that light footed soft tires. Let's see. He's still in, he's up to P11 now. Borderline, you need to Borderline needs to back off on his tires. He, they're overheating a little bit. They're overheating naturally on this track. He's up to P23. He's going down the inside for P22 against Hartley. Signs is in front of him on dead mediums. Van Dorn's in front of him. Let's see. Erickson's still going. Lap 13. He's already reached the target. He's already reached past his target lap of lap 12. That's good. I'm going to stretch it out and see how far he can go then. Let's see how far he can go. Maybe we can throw in supers at the end of the at the end of the race here. I think we can go one more lap. Let's back him up. He's in this giant pack anyway. He's in that giant pack anyway of cars. So let's see. Let's keep going. The cars behind him are all running and low on their tires anyway. Let's go attack and overtake here. ERS, ERS for Ericsson, and I'm gonna hit him in. Second set of soft tires. If he can go, wow, he went to lap 15. That is impressive. If only he, had, we had, this car. If only we had better tire wear on the chassis and for Ericsson, he could pro possibly make it on the mediums to the end of the race with 21 laps to go at the end of this lap. But oh well, not much we can do. Let's go 50% on the battery. Normal pit stop. Let's go up to P10. Ericsson's in the points. Meanwhile, Pascal fighting for P21 back here. Got to back. Let's back up those tires. Let's cool them off a bit. Let's back up those tires. Try and conserve them a little bit. Make stretch the stint out a bit, a bit further. Because now I've got an idea. Possibly switching boring line onto the mediums to the end of the race. Anyway, Erickson's out of the pits. Let's see how he does. Warline backing up his tires. Backing up his tires. 20 laps to go. If we can get to 18 laps to go, that's perfect. Back in the sponsor objective now with Warline. After most of the cars have stopped. The only one who has it is Alonso, who's P8 right now. I think Alonso, Alonso likes to go for the one stop, apparently. Which is interesting to note. Anyway, we got... Anyway... End of this lap, we are end of this lap. We're gonna attack in and then pit. Attack in and pit. Someone's passing us. We're up to P4. We were in P14 as some other as Alonzo pitted. P15 now. Someone else is behind us has pitted twice. That's signs. And let's go now. Go now, ERS. Yeah, we're in line. Could make it on the mediums. Although he wouldn't have any performance bonus. I'm gonna stick with this I'm gonna stick with the stoopers. We would be so much fat we would probably we would gain back most of the time if we went on the if, that we would have lost from being on a slower tire but making one last stop. I forgot to set the ERS charge for one line. Uh let's go let's go fifty percent let's go fifty percent again. He'll have no ERS this time around because I attacked in attacked on the way in to try and beat the people and they're behind him. But let's see. Here comes Wormline into the pits. Erickson e Erickson burn up that ERS a little bit down the straight. Alright. Mistake on the mistake on the front jack, god damn it. Alright, P twenty three for P twenty three for Erickson for Wormline now. Let's see. It'll be interesting to see what's faster, the two or the three here. ERS. ERS down that straight for Warline. And then we've got to conserve those tires now. Here comes there's er Ericsson's in P19. Pat Warline just got past got past all uh, uh, just got past Roland, so that's good. Let's see. ERS for Ericsson, not close enough to Akon. Oh, here he goes. Akon got held up. Look at this pack here that War Ericsson's in. Four, four, five cars under a blanket here. Ericsson at the back of this queue. Here comes, here comes Wurline with following up on the train, following the train in front of him. They're all gonna converge on each other in a minute. 
Let's see. Let's speed this up. Let's speed this up again. Erickson still going. 13 laps to go. So even if, if I pitted him now, he would make it. But let's keep going. Maybe. Wow, Erickson's got a huge load of fuel left. Let's go overtake then. Wait. No, we haven't been lapped. Okay. It's just Eric's. Erickson's just saved up a lot of fuel during the stop. Has saved up a lot of fuel. So overtake mode for Erickson. Let's see if he can make a move up to P17. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. Signs is pitting again. So Signs will probably go on a set of supers, I'm betting. It's either going to be supers or sauce for Signs to go to the end. Signs is in. Erickson's still going. All right, at the end of this lap, I'm going to go back to normal fuel for Erickson. Hmm. Yeah, at the end of, let's see, not quite enough to get into P15. Here comes, here comes Warline. Warline's been able to use this to catch back up. The car is in front of us and might have to stop again. They might have to stop or they'll be very close on tires. Speaking of tires, speaking of tires, you know, oh, forget it. I'll put him in. I'll put Eric Warline in now since he's being held up. Let's go fifty percent. Now that I think about it, I should probably put Erickson into this lap. End of this lap. Oh wait, fifty percent is going to overcharge the the battery. Whoops. Twenty five percent. Yeah, I'll put Erickson now. Set of supers. He's not gonna make it eight more laps on that set of softs, so let's pin him, let's just pin him in now. It'll be a race to get it'll be a race again it'll be a race against his teammate here to see who comes out in front. Warland's just been over just been it's just been put a lap down. There has a bit of fuel for you to attack. Stay behind the stay behind Vettel though. Use the lap. Use the blue flags to your fans. Here comes Erickson, and he beats the leader out, but he beats the leader out, but not by much. We're gonna both back up here. We're gonna both back up. Where's Alonzo? Where's Alonzo right now? He is. P18. Okay, so he stopped the second time, Alonzo did. Roland is gonna have to stop again. He his tires are gone. Everyone in front of us is on supers. Alright, we're probably not gonna get unlapped here. Let's just go overtake mode. Go for it. Go for it to the end. It's a battle between the it'll be a battle between the teammates with blue flags in between. P3 is right behind us. P3 is behind. All right, three laps to go. Three laps to go for the for the leaders. Three laps to go, and then while both cars are saving ERS, here come here comes P three, and Warline gets ahead of Erickson on the blue flags. Here come here comes a giant pack. Somebody lost Warline lost out, and Rolling gets ahead of us. Wow. All right, here we come. Two laps to here we come to two laps to go. It's time to go with Mac, max attack here, boys. Go go for it. Get past that stupid manor. Both of them are past. We're actually gaining back up on P3, which is Bottas, whose tires are going off a cliff. We could actually pass Bottas. That would be hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Anyway, ERS for Erickson. He's got the ERS. He's ahead. He's ahead of. We're on, oh wait, that's it? Oh, that's it. What? I think we have one more lap to go. Okay. I don't know how I missed that. I swear there was one. I swear we had two laps. I swear we had another lap to go. Well, Erickson out beats beats out Pascal here. So the. So yeah, I get. So yeah, making fewer stunts is better. Is a better thing here. We learned that much, albeit it was it was gonna be it was gonna be close anyways. It's gonna be close anyway. So we're both on. Warline probably would have gotten it if I did 
if I known it was the last lap, I, if I known the last it was the last one line finish ahead anyways, just to show Erickson who's boss. But oh well, it happens. These things happen. Pascal only Pascal loses the place to Lance Stroll, who gained, who gained a point. Erickson still has yet to score, and neither and same with K Mag, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, and the two Manor boys of Palmer and Roland. Oh well. This loading screen, I'm not going to... By the way, I was going to mention this loading screen, I probably won't skip because this leads into the stat, into the stat changes for the drivers at the post-race, and then we get to see all the money we gained and all the, and all the good stuff. By the way, one other thing I should mention, as well as this video coming up today, as well as this video coming up today, there will be, a, there is also going to be, and there's also going to be another epi episode of Crystal Clear now. Now that the, now the, the new year has started, and I also promised that we would continue that series, I'm going to live up to a right. This, I'm going to live up to that promise today as well, and up and work on making that and make that video as well. There we go, there are the stat improvements. We still pleased our boss regardless, despite our bad finish. Gained four, almost four million dollars into the bank, into the bank for next year's car. And there we go. Almost up to 20 million dollars now. Almost 20 million dollars going for next year's car. We're gonna, by the end of the season, we could have almost 30 million in the bank to to put on to next year's car. So we can really make it all the best parts. I'm going to say Pascal's the better driver. Vettel wins. Anyway, let's see here. Oh yeah, we have the spec front wing vote. Now after thinking this over, this is the last vote. Which way is it swinging? It's swinging towards no. If it's swinging towards no, and it... Okay, I don't know why it would not benefit me. I'm gonna abstain here. I was gonna say, if enough people look like they're gonna go yes, I'm gonna say yes. But as you can see, th only three people... I would've only been the fourth person to go yes, and it would've been rejected anyways. So, I just got a free vote there. Oh yeah, new sponsors. Our Kmart sponsor, actually, will probably run out by the end of the season. Let's see, what do we got here? Chevrolet, Comfort Revolution, and Singhai. Uh, none of these are really good. I'm going to go with Comfort Revolution just so I can renew that quickly. Check the mistake percentage on the crew. Front jack guy, you're gone. Actually, you know what? Swap you with this guy. Let's see if... We have any oh this guy's really good. Let's get this guy instead. Forget forget that. This guy's burnt out anyways. Screw that guy. Put you on the front, Jack. You're really good, so I'll keep you. So are you. You're good as well. Needed somebody decent on tire. You're pretty good on running rear jack, so I'll take you. So you can be a jack of all trades. Swap you out with that guy. So the two guys that are supposed to fix things, this guy's temp, but uh, he's fine. And he's fine. Like, we'll ever need to fix anything at any parts. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Scouted drivers. Just to take a quick look, here's who I've scouted up to this point. Still not sure who I'm going to go with, though. I'll have to think about. Hmm. Well Naz well Naz is obviously not gonna be one. We fired him we fired him early on in the season just to keep the cost down and sa save up and get more money. Vern would be an interesting driver. Uh Mauro Engel, no, he's usually if they're in that in the GT series are probably not gonna join you your team. 
Robert would probably be a good pick, though. He's not a bad driver. He's a good pick. We'd have good marketability as well, which is something that I think Erickson is lacking. Let's see. Well, both of our drivers are lacking that, but it would help out. It would, help out. It would get us better sponsors. Factory distractions. Okay, who's doing this? Whirlein. Whirlein, my boy. Why would you do this? You know what? I'll, fi I'll find him. As much as I don't want to do that, I'm going to find him. Phoenix race looks like it'll be bone dry with 32, a 32 lap race and a 149 lap. Okay. I saw someone mention helipad. Did we actually have a helipad here? No, we have one. Then what was he talking about? Oh, okay. Anyways. With that said, and, oh, this is actually this one of the few times we've gotten to see the hard tires this year. Interesting. Anyways, with that, with that all said and done, this has been the first video of 2019 for this channel, and there will be many, many more to come to come to come after this one. With that, is, with that done as well, I have been the Lone Wolf Racer, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Later.